Yo, go, 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 go. What's going on, G-Dot family? It's your boy, G-Dot TZ, back with the VZ. Let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. We got uh, Money Yaya, Money, you know what I'm saying? Floyd, Money Wayweathers, Mayweathers, I said Wayweathers. Mayweathers daughter getting questioned after she, you know what I'm saying, put that iron to somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Put that heater on somebody. Well, not the heater, that, that cold steel. You feel what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get straight into it. We already got NBA Youngboy's uh, interrogation. Let's see what her interrogation is. Get into it. Apparently, this is uh, NBA Youngboy's side check. Apparently, I don't know the full story. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, GuapBoyG. And Twitter, GuapBoyG. Go ahead and get straight into the video, gang. <laughs> I also want to say you got to be pretty crazy to stab somebody like especially as a woman you stab somebody crazy take with the constables mm -hmm. okay uh all right i'm gonna read these instructions to you okay so every time i ask you if you understand you need she's to gonna cry or not okay why are you gonna so, cry um, just instructions and then we're gonna start some questioning you can't stab somebody and then start crying because you got caught and you're getting questioned that's not how this shit works like all this gangster shit be going out the window as soon as the police come and it'd be the funniest shit in the world oh uh, for now i'm not I, I don't know they just took her to the hospital i hope she's okay okay so uh give me once tell me i hope she's okay so why did you stab her then i'm not doing anything like that to nobody oh, i want alive you? still Man, right now, ain't your damn fiance. Right, that's what we're trying to ask. So just give me a few minutes, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna uh, read these instructions to you, okay? You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. And any statement you make may be used against you at your trial. Do you understand? Yes. Any statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. If you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to be, have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during any questioning. Do you understand? Yeah. Can you repeat it again? If you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to any, during any questioning. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to terminate this interview at any point. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, are you willing to talk to us and tell us what happened? Can you state she your name? nervous as hell. Record. Ayana. Loudly, please. Ayana. Last name. Mayweather. Okay. What's your date of birth? Five twenty-two thousand. Okay. You want to tell us uh, what happened exactly today? Um. So, um, me and my fiance. What's his name? Control. Okay. We had um got into an argument, and um, he told me to leave the house, and so I left, and then. I left and went for a walk, but I left my phone here. So then I came back to get my phone, and then I was still trying to stay at the house. And um, he was he was telling me to leave. And then I didn't know it was a girl here. She came down to fight me. And we had. To so basically, he told your dumb ass to get out the house. You didn't want to listen, and you still wanted to. Baby, I don't want to leave. I want to stay here. I want to be with you tonight. No, 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 no. And he kept telling your dumb ass, leave, get out of here. I don't want you here. And your delusional weird ass said, no, I'm not leaving. And then a girl came downstairs and tried to fight you. And you probably took it all the way left instead of just leaving and leaving a nigga because he's cheating on you. Clearly, your fiance had another girl upstairs. He's cheating on you. Like started fighting or whatever. And I just like, I ran and, and I, uh, I ran and I grabbed knives out the kitchen. Uh -huh. And all I remember is like her pulling my hair, and I just like when she was pulling my hair, I just put my head down, and I just like swung the knife to like. So hit, she was her. upstairs. Huh? She was upstairs when you came. She was yeah. When I came in the house, she was upstairs, but then she came downstairs. She came down. Yeah. And okay, and what did she say when she came down? Um, telling me to get out the house. She started telling you to get out of the house. Yeah. Okay, and what did you do? Um. I, I told her that I didn't have, like, he's my fiance, I don't have to leave the house. Okay. Yes, you do. If you're the owner of the house tells you to get out the house, you have to get out the house. Tell me, this is my fiance, I don't have to get out the house. Yes, you do. Get the f out the house. That's how this shit works. Your fiance said leave. He's the owner of this house. You have no, you know what I'm saying, no name on the lease or none. Get out the f house. 
please. And then, um, that's when, like, she started, um, she tried fighting me or whatever. And then that's I mean, what, what exactly she did? Um, I, I can't, I'm, like, in shock right now, so I can't really remember everything. Okay, take your time. But, um, did she that's, come? that's why my lip is busted. Because okay. we had started, we had, she, we had started fighting. And then, so I had, uh, I had, like, got away from her, and I went, and I grabbed I grabbed two knives, and then, um... Damn, two? She, had, like, came back towards me. Like, she was, like... Like, at first I was, like, running, like, away from her with the knives, and then she had, like, pulled my hair, like, my hair back, and then all I remember is, I just pulled my hair back, my head came back down, and then I just, like, swung the knives and, like, hit her. Okay. And, and how did you got your lip busted? Um, she hit me. At what... I mean, what point did she hit you on your face? When we first started. So when she approached you, uh, you guys were having a verbal argument, and then she started chasing you, or no, she, no, she punched you. But she came, and she, she came, and she. Um, we just like she came, like she came downstairs, and like she told me to get out, and then she started. Like, she told you to get out of the house. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and we did she touch you at that point? Yes. What did she do? She hit me. She hit you how? Um, in my face. She punched you. Yeah. With your right hand or left hand? I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay, and was he was your was your fiance was he there? Yeah, he was. At the whole point, at the whole time he was there. Um, not the um not the whole time, but when like he heard us, he wasn't there the whole time. But when he well he was inside the whole time, but um he he didn't when when we started um fighting, he came to like break up the fight. Like, came to break up the fight. Was he was he there from when she came down? Was he down here with you as well? As well? He was, no, he was in the, um, in the master bedroom. I don't know what he was doing. Then he had came out, and that's when he was trying to break up the fight. So your husband, well, fiance, sorry, really your boyfriend, baby daddy, but your fiance told you to get out the house. You took a walk, came back, and, uh, and he was still telling you to get out the house. The side chick came from upstairs, which is probably in his room, about to get some, you know what I'm saying, some Johnson. She came downstairs, said, you need to leave. So the homeowner and the side chick said you need to leave. You still want to argue and fight and shit. So she started beating your ass. You got your ass beat, and then you got the knife and then stabbed her. When then young boy didn't even give a this shit because he was upstairs in the room. So when he heard the fighting, he came down and tried to break it up. But he already he's the reason this shit even happened. If he wasn't cheating on you, he this wouldn't happen. Even then, like, okay, cheating is one thing, but you got the girl in the house while your baby mama is still there, you're tripping. He tripping out. And your dumb ass is going for it, still trying to fight over the nigga. You're Floyd Money Mayweather's dog. You be this stupid. Were you guys shouting when you guys were fighting? A little bit. So did he hear the shouting? Did he, did he come out at that point? Yeah. So as soon as she came down, she started shouting on you. He came out as well? Um, yeah, I guess like he came out when she came through. Okay, so uh, she approached you, and then what? She she hit you on your face, or what? I told you, that, yes. And then what? And then after, so she so she came down. She was telling me to get out the house. She hit me. She hit me in my face, and then I was went. It, was it a, like a slab? Was it an open fist? No, or? she punched me. That's why she my punched you. Busted. Okay. And so, uh, we like we were fighting. Like after she hit me, we had started fighting, and then. And where was this when you, when you guys like started? Like by the like right, like like between the stairs and the kitchen, and then I had ran. I had got away like I had got away from her when we were fighting, and I grabbed knives, and then she was still telling me to get out, and I was telling her no, I'm not getting out. And that's when she pulled my hair back, and I and all I remember is her pulling my hair back, and I came forward and I had my head down like this, and I just swung with the knives in my hand. And I so well, she was chasing you in the kitchen. Before. She chased me through the kitchen to to the living to, to the living room is where she pulled my hair and I put my head down. And I okay, and how how you guys ended up to the main gate? The main gate. Yeah. Where? That's where she was lying down. Oh, um, she um, she had walked like she was her arm was bleeding, and so she had like walked over there, and then my fiance was helping her, and then I came outside and I called nine one one. 
You call 911? Yes. Okay. So apart from punching on your face, did she hurt you? Um, I don't know if I have like uh, any. I don't she know she if pulled I your hair and she yeah. punched you and that's it? Yeah. I don't know if I have um, any more bruises anywhere, but uh, that's it. So she probably beat this case because it was it could be classified as self defense, but at the same time, this is stupid as hell. And NBA young boy just gets dumber and dumber by the day. Makes some good music though, but he just gets dumber and dumber by the day after everything I hear about him. And I wonder how how can a girl see a nigga as a crash dummy, see he's a hood nigga, see all these red flags, but notice he has money and be like, damn, I still fuck him. Girls gotta take a good look in the mirror because this shit shouldn't be happening.